Hey y'all, what's up? It's your Reese and welcome back to another Spiritual Love Jones general energy rating for my beautiful divine feminines. Y'all already know we're going to go ahead and jump right in, okay? So remember, this is going to be general, so take what resonates and if it is not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? I got my window open too, so y'all already know my OGs, you know what I'm saying? Y'all going to be hearing some airplanes and shit like that. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and jump right in and see what spirit got for y'all, okay? Let's go ahead and see. Let me shuffle up one more time. All right, Spirit, I ask that you come into my reading for my beautiful Divine Feminines. I ask that you allow the right messages to come out that you would like for my Divine Feminines to hear. I ask that you cover this reading under the blood of Jesus, Father God. I also ask that you cover my Divine Feminines under the blood of Jesus as well. Protect them from all hurt, harm, and danger, Father God. I also ask that you protect this reading from all negative entities, evil eyes, and anyone sending any negative energy my way, Father God, return back to sender immediately tenfold. I ask that you allow me to deliver the messages the way you'd like for them to be heard and cover this reading under your blood once again. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I just had to say, well, you know what I'm saying, my prayer real quick because I forgot to do it. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see what spirit got for y'all. All right, spirit. What do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? What do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? These cards are so fresh. Okay, those wanted to come out. Okay, so we got getting out more. That's on the top right there in the upright. So whoever you are, I feel like you need to get out more to buy feminine. Or you could be getting out more. I've just been thinking about it. Like, I just sit in the house all the time. It was 2 2, two when I just said that. So you could be like a homebody. I know I am. And I know, like, I do need to get out more. I feel like that's the only way, like, you're going to be able to, like, meet somebody. Or not even the only way. Because there's plenty of ways to meet people these days. So let me not say that. But you know what I mean. Just getting out more. Having more fun. You know what I mean? All right, Spirit. What else? Do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? That's a whole little section. <laughs> All right, what's this? Look, put yourself first. Oh, ignore my nail, y'all. <laughs> it broke earlier when I was cleaning up. But um, put yourself first, divine feminine. I feel like um. You probably don't get out as much as you like to or do what you really want to do because you're always like, oh, I got to pay this bill or I got to do this or I got to go here. I got to go there. Or sometimes some of you feel like you don't have anybody to do something with. So you just don't do it. You get what I'm saying? Don't be like that. Get out more. It was three, three, three when I just said that, like get out more, expand yourself, put yourself first, start doing things more for yourself um freeing your energy you know i feel like also when you put yourself first this allows you to be there for others the way you want to you know you can show up for yourself the way you need to if you can show up um i mean <laughs> you can show up for yourself the way you need to then you can show up for others as well so definitely somebody needs to start putting themselves first Dang, it's a whole little section. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? You feel like home to me. So for somebody, this is giving like soulmate energy.
You feel like home to somebody, and that's a very comfortable feeling. Um, that's a very comfortable feeling to have. All right, we got you're closer than you think, Divine Feminine. And then we got I'm not impressed. So I feel like whoever this person is that's saying like you feel like home to them, you're not impressed by like whatever they're trying to come in with. I feel like this person is trying to get back into your energy or whatever the case may be. Um, but you're really just focused on putting yourself first, or at least that's where you're headed towards. Putting yourself first, getting out more, and you're closer than you think to whatever um, goals you're trying to achieve. Um, stay consistent. <clears throat> Don't let up. Stay consistent and just keep going. Just keep going. Hold on, y'all. It's a car phone for. <laughs> Come here. See you. All right, so let's get, God dang, can I, um, you know what I'm saying? This getting a little messy. I feel like, golly, is this, the situation going to get messy? All right, now. See, this person is trying to start something. Look at these. No one else can have you. I told you, I'm like, this is trying to get a little messy now. This person is probably, like, upset that you're not talking to them or feeling like some type of way that you're not talking to them. I feel like for a lot of y'all, y'all always used to go back to this person or always, like, give this person, like, a lot of chances. And this is, like, really getting to this person now because they feel like they lost you and... They're really, like, in this possessive energy right now. Like, nobody can have you type shit. Because you feel like home to this person. So, you're not going to, like, find that every day. You know what I'm saying? In other people. You're just not. Look at this. Hold on, y'all. So, we got just you and me. All right? So, that's definitely this person. That's, that's like, all they want. Just you and them. They don't want nobody else. And they don't want nobody else to have you. Alright, let me see what this is. Girl. Didn't I tell y'all this finna get messy? Somebody got a baby on the way. Somebody got a baby on the way. For some of y'all, y'all already know about this other person having a baby on the way and that's why you started putting yourself first and getting out more you're not impressed with this person anymore um yeah that's immediately what i just got but for some of y'all this person wants to have a baby with you just you and them they want to have a baby with you for some of y'all, they might try to trap y'all as well with a baby, so be careful. Some of y'all could be possibly already pregnant with a baby on the way. Whew, honey, oh my goodness. I told y'all, some of y'all, look, bro, some of y'all already know that this person has a baby out there on the way somewhere. Look, I'm disgusted. This is you, Divine Feminine. You are not impressed by this person anymore and you are disgusted. Like, you are really disappointed with this person. Like, what? You had a baby on me? Like, are you serious? Like, ew. You was doing what? Y'all was having what? Raw. No protection. You was eating on her stuff? Ew. Then when you seen who it was, you was like, ugh, like what? This is who you having a baby with? This is what you doing? <sighs> That's what I'm getting for some of y'all. Like, oh my goodness, you are disgusted by this person. And that's just, ugh. It is really, it's, it's giving nasty. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ooh, you are really not impressed by this person anymore, Divine Feminine. 
wow 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 that's all i can say is wow that's crazy all right spirit what else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine because this masculine is honey he is tripping then he's trying to be possessive over you but out here having kids out here getting people pregnant for some of y'all i feel like the baby could not be theirs or they don't know if the baby is theirs. And that's why they haven't come in and told y'all yet because they don't know for sure if the baby is theirs or not. Wait. Oh, y'all. Got cars falling on the floor. But yeah, for some of y'all, they don't know if this baby is theirs or not. And that's why they haven't said nothing. Because whoever they got pregnant or possibly pregnant, she don't even know who her baby daddy is. Because she was messing around with multiple people. So, yeah, that's messy. I did, didn't I tell y'all when that when all that just happened? I said, this, this is messy. Look, it's almost over. And this came down, look, you're closer than you think, and then it's almost over. So, Divine Feminine, I feel like for some of y'all, this really hurt y'all. This really puts y'all in a position of like depression, possibly anxiety, just feeling like you're not enough because you really love this person. You really thought you and this person had a strong connection, a strong bond, especially like loyalty and respect. You thought that you guys really had like something and you never thought this person would do that to you. So I feel like for you, you've been trying to put yourself first, get out more. You know what I mean? and really just move forward with your life something that you've been trying to break through you have a breakthrough on the way the devil is attacking you a lot because you're almost there to your breakthrough i feel like you're almost free from this person as well like this situation has had a hold on you for a very long time for some of y'all but it's almost over this person is not going to be able to um keep you down for long like this whole situation period because you're not impressed you're disgusted you know what i mean like look at this you're a good girl divine feminine you're a good girl you're a good woman and you really have a good heart and that's why you're not impressed by this because you don't do people like that. The way this person did you, you're not going to go out there and retaliate and do the same thing. You know what I mean? You're really a good girl. And that's why you're not impressed by this because you know, like, look, honey, I can go out here and have anybody I want and you had a baby on me. Why cars keep on fall on the floor, honey? All right, spirit. What else do you have for my beautiful to my feminines? Y'all, my braiding hair is still everywhere. It's just giving go. <laughs> it's like no matter how much I sweep or try to get it up, I always find one just somewhere. All right, Spirit, what else do you have for my beautiful to my feminines? All right, so we got sneaking around and she wants to be like you so whoever this person was sneaking around with she wants to be like you whoever this person is who they possibly got pregnant she wants to be like you i feel like also for some of y'all this person could have trapped this person like did this intentionally did like got pregnant intentionally just to trap your person with a baby just because they want to be like you. Some of y'all could have a baby with this person already. And this person is jealous because you guys have a child together. So it's like, she like, oh, she got a baby by you. I want a baby by you too, type energy. But you are just really disgusted by this whole situation of my feminine. This is not like, this right here is some low vibrational shit that you just... You don't fuck with shit like this. Like, you're not, you're a good girl. Like, you don't, mm -mm. you're just not impressed. 
You're just not. Let me get five more cards, Spirit. Okay, so we got, we got five more cards. Yeah, this five cards. So we got our love is fading. All right, that's definitely you, Divine Feminine. Like I said, you feel like you and this person were like unbreakable at one point. Like you really thought y'all had something that nobody could come between. You know what I mean? You thought it was just you and this person. But now you feel like the love is fading. You've been trying to like move forward, put yourself first, getting out more materialistic. So the person you're dealing with, they could have been materialistic. Whoever they were dealing with, they probably, um, for some of y'all, the person that they went to or went towards had more than you, like material wise. Um, they could have like had more money than you, which doesn't make you less of a woman or anything like that. Don't ever get it motherfucking twisted, bitch, okay? Because you going, you know what I'm saying? This is just right now. This is just, you know what I mean? If you're not financially free, Divine Feminine, if you're not wealthy or whatever you're going through, all that is temporary. You need to always think like this situation is temporary because I know where I'm headed. You get what I'm saying? But as of right now, this person seeing like materialistic things with this other person. That's why they went towards this other person because they thought they were going to be able to um, have more with that person. But they're, they're not. You feel like home to this person. You are where this person really wants to be at. Look, we got the cycle has ended. Didn't I tell y'all, like, some of y'all been trying to get out of this cycle for a minute, like, with this person, trying to get out of this situation, just really trying to break free? Because this came out over, you're closer than you think, and it's almost over. The cycle has ended. So this cycle is getting ready to end. So you can move forward to somebody that really deserves you. Somebody that really, you know, respects you and values you. And this is sometimes, you know, the rejection that we think, it really is God's protection. Because we deserve better. Look at this breakup. Look at this. Boy, fuck you. This is you, Divine Feminine. You're not dealing with this. Divine Sumner is like, boy, fuck you. You know when they got somebody pregnant? I'm not dealing with this shit. The cycle has ended. I also feel like with this breakup card coming out um, and no one else can have you, um, he's breaking up with this other person as well, like trying to end the cycle with her or whatever the case may be. But now you like... Boy, fuck you. Like, why are you trying to come back to me now? Like, what? You really got life fucked up. Because you're you're putting yourself first now, Divine Feminine. You're putting yourself first. Okay? And that's what you need to keep doing. All right, y'all. This was a little messy, okay? <laughs> this really got me feeling some type of way. But anyways, um, whoever this reading resonated for, I hope you continue to heal continue to prosper and continue to grow all right because over here y'all already know what we're doing we can we just over here healing growing and glowing all right i feel like really teary eyed right now so i just wish i could give y'all a hug but anyways i love y'all so 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 much and i will see you guys in my next one god bless